Alrighty, everybody, here to do a basic review on the Walther PPQ chambered in 22 long rifle. Alright, let's do a quick safety check. You should always work with unloaded firearms. So, empty chamber, empty mag well. Alright, so here is my Walther PPQ chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, this gun is not actually released in the U.S. according to Walther. Um, I've called them directly many times trying to obtain accessories and stuff like that for this weapon. Um, I picked it up in Smyrna, Georgia at a um, gun dealer. and um, They were actually only supposed to have it for a demo. And the guy that sold it to me did not know that. Neither did I at the time. Um, but I'm happy I picked it up. Um, it is, um, it's got a fixed barrel, it's, um, I believe kind of like the, uh, P-22, where you gotta unscrew it. I've never owned a P-22, but I assume it's fairly similar. Um, very nice grip, love the texture on it. It's the first Walther I've ever owned. Um, but, uh, I got big hands, I'm sure you see that, um. In comparison to the gun, I got pretty massive hands, and uh, I am able to grip this weapon very well. Um, it, it likes my hand, and I, my hand likes it. So, we're getting along well on that note. But um, it's got a nice, nice mag release button here. It's actually um, ambidextrous. You can swap it over here to the other side if you like. So that's a nice feature. Um, overall, I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I've yet to meet anyone else that actually owns one, so um, it's hard to talk about it with people, but hopefully if people are out there looking for these, this video will help them, because when you go to, if you go and buy one of these, um, you're going to have a hard time finding accessories. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this video was to let people know that do have PPQs. This is the, actually, it's the same, same frame and slide size as the PPQ in 9mm and 40, as far as I know, um, unless you get the 5 inch barrel on those. Um, this one, um, I actually, this is the in the waistband holster for my Springfield XD, and this gun fits very well in this. Um, no issues. I've had this holster for Oh, I guess about four years, and now there's another use for it. Um, so, I'm very happy with that. Also, the level two Serpa holster for the Springfield XD. It also fits that. Bingo. Um, there's a little bit of play, but not very much. It does retain the weapon very well. I've carried it like this, actually. Um, yeah, but um, hopefully this is helpful. If anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to answer them um, to the best of my ability. It is a, um, it's a nice firearm. I like the sights on it. Um, they are actually adjustable for elevation, the rear sight is. Um, no windage, but that's not really necessary with a pistol, especially in 22. So, but it is it is a nice feature that it's adjustable for elevation. Because when I first time I took it to the range, it was um, it was shooting way low. Um, so I adjusted that, and um, now it shoots perfect. I can at 25 yards I can make a six inch group. But anyway, I hope this was helpful for anyone out there looking to get one of these or that's curious about it. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, please subscribe. I'm just getting started in this, so hopefully I can be of help to some people. Thank you.